guys, it's me and with Sword and Steel, and today, since I'm waiting for paint to dry, I thought I would open up and enjoy this white dwarf. Let's see what rules are inside, perhaps, and uh, what we might get out of this. We're at issue 455, and there is going to be Home Celestial, The Jaws of Mork. Ooh. Realm of Chaos, Zinch. I am very curious what that's going to look like. Enter the War Zone of the Pariah Nexus. Okay. Adeptus Titanicus Battle Report. We'll skip over that because I don't like to give away um, the results. Tome Keepers, The White Dwarf Chapter. Ooh. And much more for Warhammer Age of Sigma and Warhammer 40,000. Okay. Look at that nice artwork. Oh my gosh. Those titans. Awesome. Hello team. Hello again, I should say. Oh, oh, so it's a battle report with the titans. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, table of contents. Ooh, wow. Now you're a neat looking one, aren't you? Thomas Pape. We think your knight Azros looks brilliant. Look at that. Nice. Ooh. Ogrid Thomasturge. That's nice. A Lord of Plagues. Cool base. An orc pain boy. Good old orc pain boy. Oh man. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. Nice. Hey! A battle sister of the Ashen Shrine. Cool. <laughs> Ask Grumbrindle. Ooh. Mm, nice paint work. What a contrast by Liam By. Contrast and technical paints. Well, it worked out lovely. That looks nice. Ooh, what a pretty blue by Sam Adams. Work Maneater by Oliver Grimwood. Ooh, yeah. A fancy shading. Salamander's Leviathan Dread Knot by Jordan Marshall. And a Magnus the Red. Oh, he's looking very nice. Majestic. By Simon Greatorix. I really like what is going on there. That looks really cool. <laughs> Stormcast. Wow, that is such a white. Cool. Oh, a Tyranid warrior for a moment. I thought it was a um, um, Seraphim, but it's a Tyranid. That looks great. Neat. Oh, what's that? And it looks like he's on a dock of some kind. Well, that's really cute. Very neat idea. Well, maybe not a dock, like a sewer underneath. Very cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Casey Pollock lost in the jungle. <laughs> oh, wow. That is some interesting tufts. By Eric Sarah. Huh. Model of the month. Ah, Abaddon. Looks good. Like these, these glimmering, your uh, accents on the on the metal is so great. Very in, much enjoy that. Hmm, plague. Poxwalkers. Worlds of Warhammer. <laughs> Ooh. 
cool art. Oh, we know that fellow. Oh. Ooh, some story around the the uh, luminous. Ooh, some fantastic artists. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's the mysterious mushrooms again. Wow. Look at those. <laughs> Stormcast versus Squigs. Tom Celestial. Alright, let's just... The Jaws of Mork are a squiggle lunch of such prodigious size that they are more akin to an entire nation of cave beast riders than a conventional army. This horde of boggle-eyed loons is united by a single deranged desire to, ju to jump clean over the bad moon itself. Woe betide any who stand between the grots and their goal. Cool. Looks like Stormcast Eternals are standing in between. To jump to the moon. Gorgeous squeaks. Look at those squeaks. Oh, the squeaks. Hmm. But squeaks would take um, contrast paint really nicely. Chronicles of Carnage. Oh, look at that. All this lore about these squeaks. Oh! Specific jigs, allegiance abilities, and a war scroll update for Bad Moon Loom Shrine. It says. Add the scenery rule below to the Bad Moon Loon Shrine scenery school. This affects all Bad Moon Loon Shrines, not just those included in armies that have been given the Jaws of more keyword. Okay, so it's a War Scroll update. Um, it has a new scenery rule, Swarm of Lair Lurkers. If your general has, a, has the Squig keyword, after you set up this terrain feature, you can replace its Moon Clan, abil Moon Clan Lair's ability with at the end of each of your turns, you can pick one friendly Squeak Herd, Squeak Hoppers, or Boing Grot Bounders unit that has been destroyed. If you do so, roll a dice on a 4+, plus, a new replacement unit with half of the models from the unit that was destroyed, rounding fractions up, is added to your army. You must set up the replacement unit wholly within 12 inches of a friendly Bad Moon Loon Shrine, and more than 3 inches from any enemy units each destroyed unit can only be replaced once. Replacement units cannot themselves be replaced. Cool. Bringing back some squigs. Four plus a new replacement unit with half the models for the that were destroyed. Very interesting. Nice. Some allegiance abilities and war scroll battalions. So if you choose the Jaws of Mork allegiance abilities, you can reroll the roll. You can reroll the roll that determines the move characteristic of friendly squig units. Cool. You can use the command of Lily at the start of any phase. If you do so, pick one friendly Jaws of Mork Mangler Squigs model until the end of that phase. Use the top row on that model's damage table regardless of how many wounds it has suffered. And you can reroll failed battle shock tests for friendly Jaws of Mork units wholly within 12 inches of this general for the command trait. The artifact of power is... Siari Screamer Squig. At the start of the combat phase, you can pick uh, one enemy hero within three inches of the bearer. If you do so, until your next hero phase, add one hit to hit. Sorry, at the start of the combat phase. This is just artifact power. You can pick one enemy hero within three inches of the bearer. If you do so, until your next hero phase, add one hit rolls for attacks made with melee weapons by the bearer that target that hero. Okay. Attacks particular heroes. We've got a, a battalion that can be two to three Jaws of Mork Squig Hoppers units or Jaws of Mork Wingrot Bounders units in any combination and one Jaws of Mork Mangler Squigs. Crushing Gobs add one to the damage character characteristic of Fang Filled Gob, Massive Fang Filled Gob, and Huge Fang Filled Gob's weapons. Used by units from this battalion, 
if they made a charge move on the same turn. Ooh, lots of stuff. Um, bigger stuff. After armies have been set up, but before the first battle round begins, up to D3 units from this battalion can move up to 6 inches. Cool. If both players can move units uh, after armies have been set up, the players must roll off. And the War Scroll Battalions, the Stampede is 140 points, and the Squigalanche is 90 points, so that is cute. Um, it's always nice to be able to move melee units even more so than they normally would move. Very nice. Ooh, painting your squigs. We've got the classic style. And the contrast style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rules of engagement. Sam has been a member of the Warhammer Studio for almost three years now. Hello, Sam. He is one of the game's developers for Warhammer Age of Sigmar and the lead designer for Warcry. Oh, thanks for Warcry, Sam. This month's Rule of Engagement is all about Warcry. Here Sam chats about making rules and breaking rules when playing game. Mm. Mm. Battle across the realm. Oh, exploring new challenges, conclusions, the dreadscape. All right. It's Mr. Big Baddy himself. Alright, the expanse known as the Dreadscape once contained cities and settlements in great number, where living settlers dwelt alongside the dead of Halost. Now it is domain of unbridled horror, the air itself writhing with the fell taint of chaos. Mm-hmm. Oh, Archeon. Gotta ruin everything. Oh, fighting the undead. War unending. Hello, oh, some background about stuff. That's always cool. Oh, and a campaign. Neat. All on the dreadscape. Very cool. And the battle plan. Oops. And another battle plan. War bands of Kindred. Pretty. The Jade Eye. Look how nice that looks in snowy style. Very pretty. And they're coming out with a new Warcry starter set. With two new warbands. The Joyous Amputation. That's a nice slaughter priest. Ooh, and, uh, it does work well with the uh, unmade, doesn't it? Ooh, nice. Nice paint job. Some... I want to hunt Gotrick. 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 They call him Gotrick, I suppose, but he's just Gotrick to me. The Venom Board, Femoray Crusher. Oh, so much going on. Well, those are pretty nice trees. Turn them into, uh, um, like, cherry blossoms. Ch -ch -ch cherry! I think they went a little bit too... a little bit too much dry brushing. Should have some variety in the color. But it's all the same. But leaves are transparent. So there should be a more variety in the color. <laughs> Still looks cool. Wow. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. Crows are circling. Pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I wonder how he painted that. That looks like perhaps. Hmm. I'm interested. I wonder. Kind of looks like the bright blue of one of the contrast paints. Mixed with 
something, some other technique. Maybe. That's what it looks like, though. Ooh. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Well, not only war. Hmm. This also impressive army gallery, new background, a short story, and the next article in our chapter creation series. Ooh, Thousand Sons. Oh, I suppose we're going to Zinch, aren't we? Echoes from the Warp. Uh, Robin Prudence. Low laid low by the primitive weapons of lesser races. Robin Crudence has successfully passed his reanimation protocol and now returns to pen this article. Uh, this month he discusses some of the questions that have been raised at various events and seminars he has attended over the many solar cycles he has written. Cool. cool. How long does it take to write a rule book or codex? How closely do you work with the background writer? Army X and Army Y have very similar background and themes. Why are their rules so different? What's your favorite army to work on? What's the best book you've ever worked on? What happened to the squats? <gasps> the zones ate them! <laughs> Faith Undimmed. Oh, Sisters of Battle. When the Sisters of Battle and the Astra Militarum come face to face with a Necron threat, they find their faith sorely tested. Will their devotion to the Emperor protect them? Of course it will. Or will their souls be at the mercy of the Xenos threat? Find out in this short story by Callum Davis. <laughs> oh. oh, she's fine. I mean, it looks pretty ghastly, but she's fine because she has a hospitaller next to her. It's fine. Oh, well, that's a nice old picture. Necron? <laughs> Sons of the Warmaster. <gasps> Warmaster. Bed. The Sons of Horus were hailed as one of the mightiest Space Marine legions of the Great Crusade. Much like this impressive Horus her heresy army painted by Simon Elson. Ooh. It's nice. I like the shading you've done on that. On your tanks. Ooh. Actually, on all the armor, too. Ooh, that's a nice one. Look at that guy. Ooh. Pretty. That's it. All right. We might be sons of horse. But they're good looking. This is by Simon Elson. Ooh, and how he painted them. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, nice artwork on that banner. Oh, so pretty. I do like this teal. <laughs> or is it Cabalite Green? It's probably Cabalite Green. Is it? Yeah, Cabalite Green. And Cyber. Cyberite. Cyberite green. Airbrush. I mean, Cyberite green and race down. That's the lighter parts. Nice. <laughs> Warzone Pariah Nexus. The psychic shockwave of the Great Rift's opening was so catastrophic that it, led the that it left the Imperium temporarily blinded to the horrors unfolding in the galaxy. Yet, as the veil slowly drew back once more, the nightmares revealed were worse than any could have imagined. Mm. 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 organization of a chapter. Huh. According to the MPO records, there exists, yes, 1,000 Space Marine chapters. Keen to tell the story of one, the White Dwarf team are founding a chapter of their very own, the Stonekeeper. But we didn't really learn about these, but maybe they hadn't finished them. Ooh. 
think they are fleshing them out a lot. Let's be. Let's see. Hmm. That is a nice looking captain. Nice. The realm of Zinch. Oh, I'm excited to see what kind of style you're going to put into the realm of Zinch. Well, unsurprisingly, we've got Zinch models. And Cypher Lords. Shimmering Warriors. And Corvus Cabal. Chaos Warrior. Ooh, that looks cool. Look at all that. Hmm, man, I like the red. Or, I mean, yellow and purple is pretty neat, but this is a very nice looking. Ah, there's some zinchiness to the skink. Oh, cute. I took a pink horror and put it in there. Interesting. Oh, cute. I like how that turned out. That's a different color scheme for them. Nice coloring on that cloak. Cool. They look cool. <gasps> wow. Look at that pretty thing. With some zinch. I like the addition of the, all these eyes. Very pretty. Very nicely done. All look like wolf eyes. I guess they're like zinch eyes, but they because of the gray, they look like wolf eyes. Ooh, and it's even on the, the uh, turtle, underbelly of the turtle. Wow. I like how this looks. That turns out, or turned out very nice. Look at that armor. Oh, I'm, I'm, I assume it's some sort of contrast paint and then dry brush, very nice silver over top. Perhaps even a little bit of white. Oh, it tells me. Painted his Leviathan mostly entirely with contrast paints. It looks great. This looks very nice. Uh, the Leviathan's carapace is Telesar blue, while the fighting platform is Aethermatic blue over Iron Breaker. Aethermatic blue over Iron Breaker. I guess a single coating of that would do that. That looks awesome. So I think they've dry brushed or maybe edge tight highlighted a bit more. Oh, looks great though. Oh, that's nice. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> awesome. How did they do that? This Blades of Magnus wear gold armor with blue trim reversal of the traditional Thousand Suns. This color scheme was especially easy to achieve as mostly involved in spraying the model with... Yes, I imagine so. It looks great though. I like it. Purple Horde. Scourged. Look at that hell brute. He looks awesome. I very much enjoy those colors. Ooh, purple and gold. That's nice. Oh, look at those guys. They look great. Very zinchy and pretty at the same time. With little crystals on the bottom. Very cute. Nice job. Ah, uh, very nice. Hmm, interesting base. <laughs> this little guy. Where in the world does this little guy come from? Robin painted the Sorcerer for Golden Demon a few years ago by Robin McCloyd. Uh, do, 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 it features some very clever conversion work, including a head from the Cursling, a staff from the Sorcerer Lord model, and a walking fish from the Silver Tower game. Cute! Mm, Corvus Cabal. I like this blue version. And they've got the little dusty Martian setting underneath. Looks very good. 
Lovely cat. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Pretty. A baby wipe. Cute. Oh, wow. That looks... Wow, that is amazing. They spread a baby wipe over it. Spray it. Take off the baby wipe. Use a transparent paint. Add some little gold veins. And then just clean up. Clever. Oh, neat, 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 neat. Oh, I love this. Look at all that jazz. Oh, I think I like that one. Better than the end result. That looks cool. Like a wet mud. Oh, that's how they did that. A multicolored madness. Hmm. Painting. Dudes. Tricolored fire. Cool. The trail at Ilfraka. Ooh, it's the Titanicus battle report. <gasps> Let's just have a glance at those armies. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> so here's our regular knights. Whoa! Mm. Oh, that looks nice. I really enjoy the blue and white ones. Something so nice and knightly about them. All the stats for them. Lovely. Right. You, the runes of Osgoliath. Oh yes, I see that. Oh, we got some of the swamp in there. Neat. What a well done piece by Matt Davies. Look at that. That must have been fun to create. Well, probably painstakingly horrifyingly intricate. Okay, that must have been fun to actually have finished. Oh, and all the stuff that he used. Looks good. How to build the Gothmog's invasion crafts. Very nice. He took it from the Goblin Town set. Cool. Very cool. Ooh, Faith and Fury chapter. Inside the studio. Hey, cute. I enjoy this. Look at that gloss effect. Oh, well that's cool. Hmm. The Legio marches again. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, Jess Pickham, but I enjoy it. <laughs> you may need to think better tactics. <laughs> Cute. Ooh, that's a cool one. Silver Templars. A kill team. Looks nice. I like it. Everything. Looks good. Oh, fighting gene stealer cults. Oh, that was fun. Oh, that was fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you did and want to see more such videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.